AITA for leaving my sister's wedding early after her maid of honor hum asterisk lieded me in her speech? I27F was a bridesmaid at my older sister's wedding last week. The wedding was beautiful and everything seemed perfect until the reception. During the reception, the maid of honor, who has been my sister's best friend since childhood, gave her speech. It was emotional and all but then she made a joke about how I was the family screw-up who finally managed to do something right by not messing up my bridesmaid duties. Everyone laughed but I didn't find it funny. For context I've had a rough few years. I struggled with my mental health and dropped out of college for a while. I've since gotten my life back on track but it's still a sensitive topic for me. Hearing that joke in front of all our family and friends wasn't funny at all. My sister's best friend and I never really got along but still I never expected something like this from her. Especially, the day wasn't about me at all then why bring me up in the speech? I tried to stay composed, but I felt the tears coming so I quietly left the reception and went outside to collect myself. My sister followed me out and asked what was wrong. When I told her she said it was just a joke and she meant nothing bad. I tried to go back inside but I just couldn't and I ended up leaving the wedding early. My parents understand why I was upset but my sister is angry with me. I do feel terrible for leaving but I also feel like I had the right to feel hurt and hum asterisk liated. Edit. I said nothing at the moment because I didn't want to cause a scene on my sister's special day. And I can't reason with her right now because she will just ask me if I haven't been taking my meds lately, that's what she does when she's angry with me so I'm giving her some time to maybe realize how her best friend's joke was out of line. Edit 2. Someone asked me if my sister's best friend and I argued before slash did I give her a reason to do this. My sister's best friend and I never went past high. She told me before, a few years ago, that she, in general, doesn't feel comfortable around someone struggling mentally because in her head God only knows what they're capable of. Since she said this slash to this day, I just try to avoid her. Update. Hi thanks to everyone who took the time to comment on my post and gave their opinion slash advice without being too harsh. I apologize if my update is messy or confusing. I'll try to cover everything but I don't know when to add context for clarification. If you think there's any missing info slash some parts are confusing let me know. The same day I posted my dad called to check up on me and see if my sister and I had talked things out. When I told him no he said it's better if we talk about it now and assured me that I have nothing to apologize for. If my sister thinks she has nothing to apologize for then the least she can do is make her best friend apologize or fully realize that the joke was out of line. By the way my brother and I met four days ago and he told me that BAL, my sister's husband, didn't like the way the MOH called me a screw up in front of everyone and some of those who laughed voiced later that they did so out of nervousness. On Monday my sister called me to talk. When I made it to her place, her best friend was on the phone and didn't put it down for a second. My sister started by saying that just a few years ago, I would have laughed hard and not taken the joke as an insult. I told her maybe some laughed because they don't know the reason she called me a screw up. For context. When I was 16 something happened and that's why I struggled mentally really badly between 16 to 18. When I was 17 I was diagnosed with PTSD and later with depression and anxiety. Since then I don't like it when someone touches my head, especially my hair and the back of my head slash neck. My sister knows everything. During our conversation my sister did most of the talking. At some point I felt like my sister had called me just to blame me again without trying to understand my perspective. When I tried to talk she put her hand on the back of my neck and pulled me toward her with each sentence as if to say, do you understand, or okay? I hated it and felt irritated. I honestly kept thinking if I pushes her away would I be in the wrong. Would they just call me mental and tell family I got physical. I tried to leave but she insisted that no one was leaving until we sort this out. She told her best friend to just apologize. She refused and reminded my sister that I was the reason her husband got angry at her on their wedding day because I couldn't take a joke and when I tried to explain why, edit. I told her if she had focused her speech on the bride slash groom then maybe he wouldn't have had a reason to be angry. She refused to listen and brushed my words off, she said. Yeah, whatever. Sorry, I was glad it was finally over and as I was about to leave I heard her say, can't take a joke that everyone knows is true, both of them laughed, but my sister stopped mid-laugh and apologized. I didn't say anything and left. I think I've had enough, I mean I know I've had a few rough years. I dropped out of college for a while, fine. But I've since gotten my life back on track. My parents helped me through it all and never made me feel like a burden. At first, I was on some strong meds that made me feel tired slash sleepy most of the time. After a while I started to feel a little better with therapy and my family's support. During that period it was me, my parents and my brother. My sister was three hours away for a job and used to visit sometimes and would often bring her best friend along with her. Looking back, I don't want to say she hates me but I know she felt ashamed to have a family member struggling with mental health issues. 
I don't know how to explain this. I've made up my mind and decided to go and see for now. If my parents and my brother who were there when I was going through it all never made me feel that they're ashamed of me then why would she? I'm still on some meds but feels much better than before. I have a stable job, my own place and friends who loves me for who I am. I can say I'm proud of myself a little. I love my family to death and try to maintain a relationship with my sister all these years but I'm trying to improve myself not constantly be reminded of what I was a few years ago. Update 2. Hey. This happened a few days ago but it's been a busy week for me and I was a bit hesitant to update. I went to see my parents with my brother. My dad texted me before to to let me know that my sister was coming too. I didn't want to cause any problems between her and my parents by telling them about what she and her best friend did. But when she started the conversation with lies. I told them everything and made it clear that I'm not asking them to take sides and that I will still come to family gatherings but I won't engage with her in any way. My dad couldn't let the fact that she grabbed me by the back of my neck slide. But my mother tried to make it seem like it was out of desperation, to make me accept her apology. What my sister said next did it for my mom. She asked them how is anyone still supposed to remember what exactly try asterisk jares me after all these years and that I already gotten over it since I didn't react. And what if I've been fa asterisk king it all these years? I know I shouldn't have said this and I really regret it now but I told her I wish she go through exactly what I went through. Maybe then she could give me a better example of how I should have handled it all. She told me to get over it and stop begging magazines to post about what happened at the wedding and left. My dad told me later that her best friend's younger sister read about it in a People a magazine. It was posted on their Instagram. And, get over it, she's the only one who still brings up what happened. My mother now understands why I decided to go no contact. My dad and brother are 100% supportive of my decision. But I can't stop thinking about what she said. She tried to try asterisk girl a reaction out of me and now thinks I've been fa asterisk king it because I didn't give her one. It's been 11 years. Years of therapy and meds. Of course I've gotten better. Not 100% though since I felt irritated. And if it wasn't for already being labeled crazy I would have shoved her away. I feel like I should have cut contact with her the moment she asked my parents why I didn't stay at the party and wait for my brother to come and pick me up. The reason I left the party was because some of the guys who were invited were much older than I was and they were getting Drew asterisk and K and loud. Two of them followed me. First thing my sister told my parents was and still believe that I left with them because I was naive and just scared slash ashamed to admit it. Even after both of them confessed everything. But I was young I guess and cutting contact with her wasn't something I could do. I also want to mention how supportive my partner has been through all of this. From the day I told him everything. He has been incredibly understanding. Even though I never asked him to and he never told me but I know he still goes through each movie slash series before we watch it together to make sure there aren't any scenes that could make me uncomfortable. When I put something on. He finds a way to distract me for a few minutes to check it before we watch. He has never made me feel like a screw up. He makes me feel like I still deserve to be loved. Thank you to each of you for your kind comments and reaching out in private. Edit. There's something else that happened in the last few days but I can't mention it. Since they found out I posted on the internet from a People A Magazine's Instagram. I assume they searched for the original post here on Reddit. I don't think I'm doing anything wrong though. I didn't mention any personal information in my original post or updates.